نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد Number one Islamic history أم المؤمنين حضرة عائشة رضي الله عنها Hazrat Aisha radiallahu anha was the daughter of Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. She was unmatched in her knowledge, virtues, character, accomplishments, courage and enthusiasm. She feared none when it came to stating the truth. She was born in Mecca four years after Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam announced his prophethood and showed signs of great intelligence from childhood. Despite having access to a servant, she did her domestic chores herself. She always assisted the poor, helped to raise orphans, entertained guests, and spent her wealth in the way of Allah. When Hazrat Muawiyah once sent her a hundred thousand dirhams as a gift, she had spent it all on the poor by the very same evening. At the same time, she engaged in ibadah with great enthusiasm, always followed the sunnah and carried out every injunction of the sharia with great care. She was very particular about the tahajjud and chashd salahs, fasted almost every day and was cautious to stay away from even the most minor infringements of the sharia. Number two, Allah's fa, fruits and flowers from one type of water. Allah is that extremely powerful being who has created a variety of trees, fruits and flowers from one type of water. Furthermore, despite being grown in the same soil and with the same water, each variety has different colors and different flavors. Number three, Afarud, performing tayammum when no water is available. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Clean sand is a means of purification for the Muslim, even if he does not find water for 10 years. Should he then find water, he should pour it over his body, perform wudu and ghusl. Abu Dawood, Hadith 332, from Hazrat Abu Zar radiallahu anhu. Number 4. A Sunnah. The method of removing the clothing when relieving oneself. Hazrat Abdullah bin Umar radiallahu anhu reports that when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam relieved himself, he removed his garment only once he was close to the ground. Abu Dawood 14 Number 5 An important act and its virtue Reciting a surah of the Qur'an before going to bed Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said when a person recites any surah of the Qur'an when going to bed, Allah will appoint him an angel to guard him and nothing harmful can even approach him until he wakes up. Tirmizi Hadith 3407, Hazrat Shaddad bin Aas radiallahu anhu. Number 6. A sin. The punishment for falsely reporting a hadith. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, be careful when reporting from me, and report only that which you are certain about. The person who falsely attributes something to me should prepare his abode in Jahannam. Tirmidhi, Hadith 2951. Number 7. This World The Signs of Ill Fortune Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that the following four things are a sign of ill fortune. Number one, dry eyes that do not weep out of fear of Allah. Number two, a hard heart that neither softens for the akhirah nor for anyone at any other time. Number three, long hopes. And number four, greed for this world. Targheeb wa Targheeb, Hadith 4741 
from Hazrat Anas radiallahu anhu. Number eight, the Akhirah, the good fortune of the people of Jannah. Allah says in the Quran, there in Jannah, they will not hear any futile, useless and absurd talk. They will hear only words of peace, greetings of salam and talk that will increase their peace and comfort. They shall have their sustenance there morning and evening at all times as and when they please. This is the Jannah that our bondsmen with taqwa shall inherit, shall acquire. Surah Maryam, verses 62 to 63. Number 9. Cures from the Quran and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Honey as treatment for stomach ailments. A man once came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, my brother is suffering from diarrhea. Give him honey to drink, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. The man went, gave honey to his brother, and then returned saying, O Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I gave him honey, but it only made his diarrhea worse. Go and give him honey to drink. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam repeated. The man went, again gave his brother honey, and then returned yet again saying, his diarrhea is now even worse. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah speaks the truth and it is your brother's belly that is lying. Go and give him honey. This time when the man gave honey to his brother, he was completely cured. Bukhari, Hadith 5684 from Hazrat Abu Sa'id Khudri radiallahu anhu. Number 10. Quranic advice. Allah says in the Quran, O you who have Iman, choose not the kafirun as friends in place of the mu'mineen. Do you wish that Allah establishes a clear proof against you which will label you a hypocrite, thereby condemning you to Jahannam? Surah Nisa, verse 144. Subhana Rabbika Amma Yasifun, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.